When I was younger, I used to visit my cousin's house a lot. And on one special visit, I found his Game Boy Advance under the table with Pokemon Emerald in it. Once I booted up the game, I was immediately hooked. Not only to the games, but the anime also, with Pokemon XY and XYZ being the first ever Pokemon anime I've ever watched. With this newfound love for Pokemon, I wanted to play more games. The problem is, I didn't have a Game Boy Advance, but I did have an iPhone with Roblox. And the only two titles back then were Pokemon Brick Bronze and Project Pokemon. Well, that was until they got copyrighted and discontinued. And when those games got discontinued, my little 9 year old heart was shattered. Now having to wait an unknown amount of time for them to make another Pokemon game. And those games will come and go. Lumion Legacy was great, but because of slow updates, I lost interest. Doodle World? I don't play Doodle World. All the copy Pokemon Brick Bronze games that were disguised yeah, they all got taken down. Until one day, when I was scrolling through Roblox on my phone, I stumbled upon this game. And I'm not even gonna do an introduction. Just listen to the theme song. Make a bunch of new friends. Adventure what the f that never ends. Let's write a brand new story. Life. This is a new beginning. Stand tall and let your heart sing. Let's have some fun. Motherfucker just got decapitated. <laughs> Welcome to, in case you didn't catch the name, Tales of Tenorio. A new game on Roblox that was inspired by Pokemon. And to be honest, I didn't really want to make a video on this game until... Hello, it's great to meet you. Huh? Wait, why is that voice like, whoa? Yeah, not only does this game have a theme song, it has voice acting. It's hard to believe how much Roblox has changed since I first joined it. We used to play work at a pizza place where you would deliver pizzas to NPCs. And now there's full on voice acting in Roblox. But I'm getting sidetracked. Because this game is inspired by Pokemon, there's a lot in common. The battling systems, your Pokemons, or what this game calls Tenorians. And just like any other Pokemon game, there's a story to be told. Both the actual story and and the things that happened while I played. Shine and shine. That's a fucking shiny. That's a fucking shiny. So sit back, relax, grab your favorite snacks as I tell you the tales of Tenorio. The game starts by giving you a rundown of everything you need to know about this game. And Professor Iroko here is going to tell you everything about it. From the Tenorians, how to catch them, what to catch them with, what to do in order to become a good tamer. And while yes, this information is very helpful, I couldn't be bothered to watch the whole thing. It's too long. But this is where the game actually starts. It starts off with your mom waking your ass up because it's apparently noon and you're still sleeping. Don't even lie, I know some of you do that in real life. You got some pretty messed up sleeping schedules, I know that. But another reason why she's waking you up is because there's some sort of Tenorian match going on right now and she really wants to watch it. Look at this transition. The Hello, crowd is on their feet! Wait, it sounds like the Pokemon Unite announcer. Showing what makes the Norian battle so captivating! It has to be the same guy, what the f- What the f- bro. Uh, the camera movement is kind of whack. It's good and whack at the same time. This is <laughs> one unforgettable showdown here in the Tenorio Battle League! Motherfucker just got decapitated! <laughs> Back after a quick message from our sponsors! Oh no. Nah. This video ain't sponsored by our eight Shadow Legends, Darn my boy. It. Right on a cliffhanger too. After you finish spending some quality time with your mom, the game takes a complete 180 and the tone suddenly shifts from happy to really depressed as you get informed of your terrible financial situation. The music's so loud! Again, I'm really sorry for not being able to get you that new bike. That's fine, I don't care about a bike. I just can't right now. At least, not until I find another job. Alright, then I really don't care. She then asks you to spend some time outside because you've already spent half the day sleeping indoors. And normally, I would agree to that, except- Oh, it's raining. This is the what, shittiest time to walk out. <laughs> really? The time I decide to go out of my house, it's raining? What the- f Oh, hi, Kira. My dad wants us down at the research lab right now. Alright, bet. Any idea of what he needs us for? And don't just shrug this time. Do I- do I have- <laughs> So off we went to the laboratory to get our starters. And these are your choices. Chihuahua, 
Rabush, and Charkile, the Waterhound, Grasstail, and Burning Snake Tenorians. And normally in this situation, people would choose the Fire type because, well, it normally has the advantage on the first gym. But for me, bro, I'm going Water type all the fucking way, bro. After XYZ, after Froki, I'm going Water type. Okay, I got it now. I got it. She's gonna pick the fucking. I'm choosing. She's gonna pick the green one. Watch this, just so she has an advantage. Rubbish. I fucking knew it. Right after selecting our Tenorians, Professor Iroko gives us the rundown. While on our journey, Professor Iroko wants us to research on our Tenorians, their evolutionary line, how they react to people, whatever science stuff. And while Kira's doing it because, well, it's her dad, I'm going on this journey because yield significant results will generously compensate you and your mother. Oh shit, I'm doing this. Remember? I do not care if this research is troublesome or not. If I can help my mom with financial issues, I'm doing the research. So off we went out of the city and on to Route 1. But first... I'm thinking, wouldn't it be cool to kick off our research journey with a battle? That's just how it always works. Let's go. Stop using Screech. It's just gonna one hit me, bro. Try it. Let's say it. All that debuff don't do shit. Okay, after that match, we can finally move on with our journey. Setting our first destination, at Arxworth. And the first Tenorian we meet is... Oh, look at that animation. Oh! A flying type? I'll actually take that. And catch it, I did. Come on, I Aspire. You're joining me. And then, not long after, I encountered a bug type. Cali Pillar. Ooh! You're also getting added to the team. I found out soon after that Cali Pillar has a really odd evolution level. Oh. It evolves at level 7? Yo, that's kind of sick. What the heck is that? Cali Tomb. And a few minutes later, finally made it to Arthur, but not before adding Norton and Doopy to the team. The museum. Oh, oh. It's been years since I've last visited this museum. The voice acting is crazy. For a Roblox I game, it's crazy. Visit more often, but you know, my dad. Never mind. Top tier. Top tier voice acting. You see him doing anything else anymore. But I can help him. We can help him. He'll be able to relax. Oh! That's a... That's a... Do you hear that? Good intent. Fossils. Oh, hey, who are you? Ah, oh, yes. Endu. At first, he's kind of annoying. You want it back. Fight me for it. I bet. Of course, you can't expect to defeat me, though. <laughs> But then you get to know him a little bit better. And he's still annoying. No, everything but that. Matter of fact, I should be angry at you two. Four? That stone was my ticket out of this dump before you guys messed it all up. And you might be thinking, what did we do to mess whatever this guy was planning? Well, he was trying to steal this stone. And this stone has some really cool capabilities. Something about awakening your Tenorian's guardian form or whatever. They're a kind of malachite, known for its unique properties. What does the it ability do? allows Tenorians to tap into their guardian forms, unlocking hidden potential and unleashing incredible power. It's a fucking mega stone. Not only did we learn what the stone does, we also got some pretty cool backstory on Tenoria, which again, was too long. Something about chaos and order and death. <laughs> but continuing with the journey, I aspire evolved. I caught no, a shiny. Uh, shine and shine? That's a fucking shiny. That's a fucking shiny. Yes! Let's fucking go! <laughs> Even meeting with the stadium star Rhea, that for some reason has a weird Ooh, grudge against guess. us. You're a new tamer, aren't you? Here, rookies like yourself usually end up on the losing end when facing with someone on my level. Everyone's got to start somewhere, right? I'm about to humble you so oh, badly. And yeah, kid. I'm about to humble you so badly. But before I go on to beat every last drop of pride out of her body, we made a quick stop to a burger place to, well, eat burgers. How about a little warm-up battle to help prepare? In here. Uh, guys, I'm not trying to lose my cred at this Character, bro. 
and it's and, and it's weak to me, bro. Hacking order. Quick swipe. Fuck. Oh! Glad you didn't mess the place up. I have a few pointers here and there, but you've definitely got what it takes. <laughs> I don't need you to tell me if you think I have what it takes. I know I have what it takes. Just watch me. But before we can confront Rhea, we have to go against three other fighters. But I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. They were nothing. <laughs> oh, finally. Can I go against Rhea now? I can? Let's go. Oof. Label me surprised, kid. Not many people make it this far. Let's see just how good of a fighter you really are. Come on, Rhea. I can't remember what was in fighting. Man. But all I need is Aqua Zone. And because I can Aqua level everyone. You're fine, Noten. You're fine. They're eating those. They're absolutely eating. Oh, you're eating! What else you got? Oh, come on. You can do this, Noten. Super effective. Oh my god. No fucking way this motherfucker just Gigamax. I mean Dynamax. <laughs> he just Dynamax. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. What Dynamax was that? Oh my god, I was not expecting her to have a Dynamax on her. What the As a way of showing people that you triumphed here. Let's go. You obtained the strike medal. You really defeated Rio without getting sent to the hospital for months? Yep. After obtaining the strike medal, we set our sights on Avalash Town to get our hands on that second badge. I mean, medal. And I'll skip over the journeys, everything's the same. Level up my Tenorians, fight some trainers, level up some Tenorians, fight some hey, trainers. How about a quick rematch? I'm down. Let's go. That might be the first move. Yep. Oh, oh. And here we go. The second stadium. And I was ready. I was ready for everyone. I don't care how many people I had to battle, I was ready. Turns out there were no trainers to fight. It was just trivia questions. Nice. That's it. That's the build up. You answer three trivia questions and you're off to the stadium store. I, 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 I will not. I brought my A game. That's it. Pretty cool. Boom. That's two down. Doopy Bara? Oh yeah, you know how Rhea had this whole Dynamaxing moment? Some dude gave this Doopy Bara a Mega Stone. He straight up turned into Sam Sulik. Oh, that's not, oh, he fucking Mega Evolved. Give it up! And there you have it, the second and final badge for now in Tales of Tenorio. This video was a trip down memory lane. It's been a while since I've played Pokemon or any Pokemon based game. I'm really excited for what they're gonna add to the story and the updates they're gonna add to the game. I mean, as of now, they already have the spring update with new reskins and a new Tenorian. But if you're already a player in this game, you don't even have to wait for updates. There's a lot of things you can do in this game. From participating in raids, shiny hunting, hunting for pseudo legendaries, basically everything you can do in your free time in a Pokemon game. But I do believe that this is where the video ends. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this isn't a weird shift in content because it is for me. I haven't uploaded or played Roblox in almost a year, let alone the mobile version, which I haven't played for almost three years. It's almost nostalgic. And with all that out of the way, I hope you have a wonderful day. Be sure to join us next time as we play a game I did not expect to make a video on. You can let your head down, baby, go and swim. I just don't rap now at the moment. I will come and wait down more often. Yeah, you can come and break down on the morning. You can let your head down, baby, go and swim. I don't know shit now, I've been warning. I go get my shit now, you'll be mourning. I tell them good job.